In a compelling matchup, the Washington Mystics, 2-12, will take on the Indiana Fever, 5-10, with the Mystics coming in as underdogs with a spread of plus 4. Here's a detailed analysis of both teams' recent performances and key players. Washington Mystics Analysis Washington comes into this game averaging 76.1 points per game, ranking them 12th in the league. They are shooting 41.5% from the field and 34.4% from beyond the arc, with a free throw percentage of 76.5%. The Mystics average 32.1 rebounds per game and are third in the league in assists, dishing out 288 so far this season. However, they turn the ball over 15.7 times per game and commit 20.1 fouls per game. Defensively, the Mystics force 15.6 turnovers per game and draw 19.9 fouls. They allow opponents to shoot 44.7% from the field and 33.6% from three-point range, ranking them 7th in the league in opponent points per game, 82.3. They also give up 34.6 rebounds per game and 269 assists, ranking 6th in assists allowed. Key player, Ariel Atkins. Atkins had a standout performance recently, scoring 29 points on 9 out of 13 shooting, 69.2%, in 30 minutes. She also contributed three rebounds and three assists, highlighting her efficiency and versatility. Indiana Fever Analysis Indiana enters the game with a record of 5 to 10, averaging 79.3 points per game. They shoot 42.8% from the field, ranking them 7th in the league, and 78.9% from the free throw line. The Fever average 19.1 assists and 13.9 turnovers per game while committing 18.7 fouls per game. They pull down 32.3 rebounds per game. Defensively, Indiana is struggling, allowing 88.9 points per game, which ranks them last in the league. They allow opponents to shoot 45.8% from the field and 37.8% from three-point range. The Fever also give up 21.0 assists and 35.5 rebounds per game, ranking 9th and 8th in those categories, respectively. They force 12.1 turnovers per game. Key player, Caitlin Clark. Clark had a significant impact in her last game, scoring 23 points on 7 out of 11 shooting, 63.6%, and adding 8 rebounds and 9 assists in 37 minutes. Her performance underscores her importance to the team. Prediction While Indiana has a slightly better record, their defensive struggles could give Washington an edge, particularly if Atkins continues her impressive play. The Mystics' ability to force turnovers and their solid defense might help them keep the game close and potentially secure an upset. Prediction Washington Mystics 83, Indiana Fever 78. Take Washington, plus 4. In an intriguing matchup at Target Center, the Minnesota Lynx, 11-3, will face the Atlanta Dream, 6-6. Here's a comprehensive analysis of both teams based on their recent performances and key players. Atlanta Dream Analysis The Atlanta Dream come into this game with a recent victory over the Los Angeles Sparks, winning 87-74. The Dream shot 44.1% from the field, 30 out of 68, and made 6 of their 15 three-point attempts. They were solid from the free throw line, converting 21 out of 26 attempts, 80.8%. Atlanta also pulled down 38 rebounds, including 10 offensive boards, and distributed 22 assists while forcing 12 turnovers and earning 8 steals. Key player, Alicia Gray. Gray was a standout performer in their last game, scoring 25 points on 9 out of 14 shooting, 64.3%, in 34 minutes. She also grabbed 3 rebounds and handed out 2 assists. Minnesota Lynx Analysis the Minnesota Lynx come into this matchup with an impressive win over the Dallas Wings, securing a 90-78 victory. The Lynx shot 44.8% from the field, 30 out of 67, and 36.8% from beyond the arc, 7 out of 19. They were exceptional from the free throw line, making 23 out of 24 attempts, 95.8%. Minnesota pulled down 28 rebounds and forced 11 steals while committing only 7 turnovers. Key player, Kayla McBride. McBride had a significant impact in their last game, scoring 19 points on 4 out of 9 shooting, 44.4%, in 35 minutes. She also added 4 rebounds and 7 assists. Statistical comparison. Points per game, Minnesota averages 86.5 points per game, 1st in the WNBA, while Atlanta averages 77.4 points per game, 11th in the WNBA. Field goal percentage, the Lynx lead the league, shooting 46.3% from the floor, whereas the Dream shoot 40.7%. Rebounds per game, both teams are close in rebounding, with Minnesota averaging 33.7 rebounds per game and Atlanta averaging 34.0 rebounds. Defense, Minnesota has a robust defense, allowing only 76.1 points per game, second in the WNBA, and holding opponents to 40.6% shooting from the field, first in the league. Atlanta allows 79.9 points per game, 5th in the WNBA, and 41.7% shooting from the field. Turnovers, Minnesota forces 16.5 turnovers per game, while Atlanta forces 13.0 turnovers per game. Prediction The Minnesota Lynx, with their strong offense and stout defense, are likely to control the game against the Atlanta Dream. With Kayla McBride leading the way and the team's excellent shooting and rebounding, the Lynx should be able to cover the spread. Prediction Minnesota Lynx 84, Atlanta Dream 76, take Minnesota, minus 8.
In a highly anticipated matchup, the Seattle Storm, 9-5, will take on the Las Vegas Aces, 6-6. Here's a detailed analysis of both teams based on their recent performances and key players. Seattle Storm Analysis The Seattle Storm entered this matchup with a solid record and an impressive offense, averaging 83.1 points per game, 4th in the league. They shoot 42.9% from the field and 30.5% from 3-point range, while converting 80.2% of their free throws. The Storm are also effective on the boards, averaging 37.6 rebounds per game, and they distribute the ball well with 267 assists on the season, 7th in the league. Defensively, Seattle forces 15.9 turnovers per game and holds opponents to a 41.2% shooting percentage, allowing 78.7 points per game, 4th in the league. Key player, Neka Ogumike. In her last game, Ogumike scored 15 points on 7 of 18 shooting and grabbed 11 rebounds in 38 minutes, shooting 38.9% from the field. While she didn't record any assists, her presence on the court was significant, particularly on the boards. Las Vegas Aces Analysis The Las Vegas Aces come into this game with a balanced defense, averaging 86.8 points per game, second in the league, while shooting 42.8% from the field and 32.4% from three-point range. They also excel at the free-throw line, hitting 85.2% of their shots. The Aces pull down 34.7 rebounds per game and dish out 19.7 assists per contest. Defensively, they allow 85.7 points per game, 10th in the league, and opponents shoot 44.5% from the field against them. Las Vegas forces 12.3 turnovers per game and permits opponents to hit 39.3% of their three-point attempts. Key player, Kelsey Plum. In her last game, Plum was a standout performer, scoring 22 points on 8 of 13 shooting, 61.5%, in 32 minutes. She also added 2 rebounds and 3 assists, demonstrating her all-around impact on the game. Statistical Comparison Points per game, Seattle averages 83.1 points per game, while Las Vegas averages 86.8 points per game. Field Goal Percentage The Aces shoot 42.8% from the field, slightly better than the Storm's 42.9%. Rebounds per game, both teams are close in rebounding with Las Vegas averaging 34.7 rebounds per game and Seattle averaging 37.6 rebounds. Defense, Seattle allows 78.7 points per game, significantly better than Las Vegas 85.7 points per game allowed. Turnovers, Seattle forces 15.9 turnovers per game, while Las Vegas forces 12.3 turnovers per game. Prediction, the Seattle Storm, with their strong defense and solid rebounding, are well positioned to cover the spread against the Las Vegas Aces. Despite Las Vegas' potent offense, Seattle's ability to force turnovers and control the board should give them an edge in this matchup. Prediction, Seattle Storm 87, Las Vegas Aces 82. Take Seattle, plus 6.